Um, today's video, we're going to show how to take the Curiosera Dura XV Extreme and uh, sort of modify the system settings to make it download apps, which was a big frustration of mine when I first got this phone. But once I got that, this phone was absolutely a game changer with its durability and everything and being able to download the necessary apps you might need. It's really amazing. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. It's pretty easy. Um, there's just a couple of options you have to enable and then just fool around with it a little bit to make it work. Um, so you're going to enter into the home screen like this, select down to settings. Once you go into settings, you're going to select on that and then scroll down to about phone. In that area, you're going to go down to an area that says software information and you're going to click down to number five and wait right there. When you're on number five build number, you're going to click the button seven or eight times to make yourself a developer. I'm already a developer, so you know, I'm, it's not going to work on mine. But you're going to click that button seven or eight times and it'll tell you four more times, three more times, two more times, and you will be a developer. This means you have access to settings that the phone company doesn't necessarily stock show that the phone has when it comes out of the box. So we're making it do things that it wasn't necessarily meant to do, but it can do if it's told to. So we're going to go back once we're out of, once we have that clicked, we'll scroll down two more or we're going to go back out to here, scroll down two more to developer options. This will have just popped up on your phone. You're in here, you're gonna scroll all the way down, all the way down this long list of different options. Uh, most of them you'll never use. They're a bunch of different random things, but you're gonna scroll all the way down. It can take a minute. Um, but all the way down to the bottom of all these different options. So what we're essentially doing here is we're enabling ourselves as a developer. So we're kind of using it to, using this device to do things that we could do if it was not locked down um, by the manufacturer and by Verizon who made the, who uh, programmed this phone. Um, <clears throat> we're enabling it to do things that it wasn't necessarily meant to do by downloading third-party apps. So you're going to go all the way down the bottom to advanced settings. You're going to click on that and then go to apps and notifications. Once you're down here, you can see all your different apps that you can install. Um, once you have developer options enabled, you can go ahead and install apps. So to do that, you're just going to, you're gonna go and download from anywhere on the internet, you're gonna download an APK file, and that is going to download onto your device. I don't have any downloaded here real quick. Yes, I do, okay. So you're gonna download an APK file just like this one, and you're gonna click on that, and your phone will pop up the package installer option. Click on package installer and it will start the stage and install the app. You're going to click on install. It takes a minute. And it installs the app just like that. And you can click on open and it's going to open up that app. Get permissions here. This is for Google camera. Um, but it's not going to work right now. But that is how you essentially install new apps on it. That's how I have Signal and other apps on here. Um, you can add them to this area if you want to. Um, so we just downloaded. We just downloaded camera. Oh, wrong one. We just downloaded camera. So we can add that right there. And you have that app and you can click on it to use it. Um, so that's how you do that. Uh, if you're going to download a lot of apps, there's a few more things that I recommend and I may make another video on at a time. Um, one of the main things I recommend is installing some sort of pointer mouse application onto the device so that you can navigate certain apps easier because certain apps just don't like to do it without that. Um, it's hard to use the D-pad to be able to do that. So installing, an app, uh, installing a mouse app is very essential and also installing a different launcher app that can display more than nine apps like the stock one can. This one, if you want to use everything on the device, you're only going to be able to uh, download these certain apps, and it's not going to want to do that many. Um, another option you do have is without installing another launcher, like I have Niagara Launcher, which is what I usually use. Um, you can go down to the settings and tools right here and click on that and business tools. And that's where all of your apps are going to be. So all the apps are underneath here. Um, these are for Everything I've um, everything I've downloaded is on here. That's under business tools and settings and tools. I like to download another launcher because it looks a lot better too. You can download a background wallpaper. Um, 
but if you don't want to go through the hassle of that and don't want to download more apps, um, go into business tools and they're all right there. It makes it a little easier. Okay, uh, I'm going to try and make another video based on the um, installing a new launcher and installing a mouse program. Um, those two things make things a lot easier and make this phone really a game changer because it's it's an incredible phone. It might not be the smoothest operating phone, but you, you need it to perform a few simple tasks and maybe run an app or two. It's really great for that. So thanks for watching.